What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 19th Java programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you a way better way of making random numbers. I know the last tutorial in our 18th tutorial, it was really confusing because I was using casting and stuff and the syntax was just really weird. So I looked at that, I was like, okay, I'll give them a simpler way. And uh, yeah, so I got one right now. So we're going to make the same program it's gonna be a random number generator and the user is gonna to have to guess the number between 1 and 5 uh, but we're just gonna be doing it in a lot simpler way so yeah let's get started by making a scanner object oh, I've got my dog scratching at the door system dot in And so yeah, that's just our basic scanner to allow user input. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be making another object, just like the scanner. We're going to be making an object for our random number. So to make this, we're just going to say random, and then we're going to name our random object R. And then we're going to set it equal to new random. So as you can see, it's a lot similar syntax to scanner as C is equal to new scanner. It's just we got random r is equal to new random and you got to add this import so click over here and add the import for java.util.random as you can see these uh, two classes are actually in the same package they're in the java.util so they both have the same package names they just got different class names uh, so yeah now that we made our random object we are going to make an integer for our guess Oop. guess and we'll set this equal to something like zero or something the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set a random number so to do this we're just going to make another integer and we're going to call it random number and we're going to set it to r dot next int and we're going to say plus one I'm going to put a 6 in there. So basically what I did here is I made a basic variable called random number. And then we set it equal to our random objects variable, r, and then there's a method inside that object called next int. Inside the next int parameters, we have a 6 because we want our number to be between 2 be between 6 and 1. Uh, so you have to put 6 here and 1 here. We could also actually go, yeah, why don't we do this? We'll go 1 plus 6. Whoops, 6. So basically it says, okay, I want my random number to be to, to be between 1 and 6. Okay, I said it was going to be between 1 and 5, but obviously I lied, and I made it between 1 and 6, so deal with it. Um, so yeah, let's make our while loop. And we're going to want to say, well, our guess is not equal to random number oops we're gonna want to go um s out please enter a num between one and six so yeah what we're gonna do is we're just gonna want to go guess is equal to sc dot next int just like that and so this is going to keep going just like in the last one until guess is equal to number or it's going to keep going if guess is not equal to number so obviously once we break out of this loop that means that we have guessed it right so we're going to want to give a little prompt to the user saying congrats and a little smiley face for them make them happy and let's run this thing so please enter a number between one and six let's try one nope two nope three man there we go six okay so yeah there you go uh, it's the same thing as the last time but okay that's weird it did six again and six again okay that's weird uh, let's try switching this around six plus one let's run this thing again So 
So yeah, I guess you have to have the bigger number in there first. And then the smaller number out front. I don't know why, but I guess you gotta do it that way. So yeah, make sure you have your bigger number here and your smaller number out there, or else it's gonna mess up. I don't know why, but this is actually the first time me actually using it this way. I usually use it the other way. I just looked up on the internet quick, so uh, yeah, so that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.